All right, so we're back at A404 Imports and I want to drive this Suzuki Wagon R. You guys saw it in the last video. I think it's pretty neat. This is gonna be my first ever startup. Let's see. All right, starts right up, starts right up. This is a cold start too, we can look at it. Let's see, does the AC work? The AC does work, that is a good touch. I'm here with the infamous J Monet by your rugs guys. I'm gonna let her drive this car too because it's automatic. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on all the cars? I guess why we let it warm up. What is your favorite? What is your least favorite? This is my favorite because of the cover. And because it's a van or no? Because it's a van, yeah. Even this one though? This one is like tinted. I guess this one's cool, but it. Oh, this is cool too, but I like this color. I like the rims on this one a lot. On this one? Yeah, this one. And then we have this, which you drove before. I drove. I like these lights. Look how big this um power windows thing is. I guess this is what they were doing in 1995. Like, look at this box. What is that? That's for the power windows. Let's see. Yeah, look, like look. Add-on. Like, bro. This box is huge. It actually works though. It this is my favorite car here, like honestly. I'm not gonna, and I'm not just lying because it's the cheapest one or whatever. This is really my favorite car here. Like it's just a weird. Like why does it have one door here then two doors here? Wait, what? Like look at that. That side only has one door, and has two doors here. Right? And look, it's spacious. Go back there. It's like a little like it looks like a cab. I feel like it's not bad it's at one. all. The trunk is pretty big and it's like a smaller K van. It's like even smaller than a K van, but it's not a K car and it's not a K truck. Like you still have the roof and you still have all the good stuff about it. I'm going to drive it first and then I'll let you drive it. I think it's more spacious than my van. I think so too. I think it has power steering. Is the car coming right? No, he's waiting. What does power steering mean? Like, steering is like power. <laughs> it just makes it much easier to steer. Okay. Like, you know, like when you do like this, like, uh -huh. like it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Are they gonna give us a thumbs up? So there you have it, the Suzuki Wagon R. 
I wasn't able to get to like, you know, 100 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure how good this would be on the highway. It's probably like a three-speed automatic too, so it isn't the best. But look at her parking the car. But I like it. I like it a lot, honestly. It's really not bad. I love the weirdness of it. Like, the Jimny looks super normal. It doesn't look weird at all. The wagon R is really weird. And then obviously the Honda Actis one. I wouldn't want to get another K-Van. But if no one picks that, honestly, I would take that over the Pajero. I miss my little 60cc turbo. Starts right up. It actually starts really good. I can't get over how many antennas are in this car. Like there's one here, there's one there, there's one there. This radio better slap. <laughs> this radio better work over here, let's see. I don't know how to work any of these radios. Oh wait, wait. oh my God. Well, let's see if the fog lights work. We gotta make sure those bad boys work. Oh damn. Wait, I think they're on. Oh no, they are on. Look at that. Fog lights work. This is going to be the Honda Acti episode. And today I'm going to drive a 1991 Honda Acti Street that is two wheel drive. I drove a four wheel drive, but one before it was kind of slow. I'm assuming that this one should be a little peppier. So this guy has 134,000 kilometers, AC, five speed, interior is nice and clean. I actually like the fact that it doesn't have tints. I know it's super, what is that called? What do the people call it? Like fishbowl fishbowl i know it's very fishbowl but i actually like it because when you open the doors like even in my bravo and i'm gonna open them in this one like look how vibrant and just like welcoming it looks it looks really nice and then in this guy when you open it like look at the difference it's cool though like i get it like i probably would want tins too especially in a car like this like you know everyone's gonna be staring at you in the first place but this one just looks super welcoming i feel like every k-van i've seen always has this tinted let's put this seat back Pop it back just like that. Close this door. I really love these rims, man. I'm not gonna lie. Someone please comment below. What are these called? Or are these are just some random K wheels that just happened to come off a car in Japan. He probably got them with them, but they look really good. These are the Honda HX rims. So these are actually buy on Facebook Marketplace pretty commonly, but they both come with brand new tires too, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Brand new tires, brand new tires really good touch but now let's drive the acti let's see if i finally will drive an acti that i fall in love with let's switch cameras really quickly and let's see is this acti going to be a little quicker coming from a k-van owner to another k-van owner is this the one all right so let's start this drive does the radio work for some reason that's always like my first test. radio does work i love that does the ac work Ooh, AC works nice and cold. Love that. All right, let's start this drive. Put it in first. E brake down. This clutch actually feels really new. All right. So we're in second right now. Let's do our first pull. Nah. All right. So finally, I guess. I guess. I was gonna say I guess two wheel drive is the way to go for speed, but in the same way, you know, you won't get as much, you can't do as much as a four wheel drive van, but this one definitely feels a lot quicker than the four wheel drive. I don't dislike the Honda Acti van as much as I hate the Honda Acti trucks. The trucks I feel like are super overhyped, they're slow. This one is actually really spacious. The interior is clean, like I mentioned, I love the fact that the visibility is crazy because there's no tints. Let me do this U-turn really quickly. 100% has power steering. Reverse obviously works. Drop it into first. And like it pulls, like look. Like it's throwing me back in my seat. Like the other, every Honda Acti I've ever driven has not done that, but they all been four wheel drive because I live in New York. This one being two wheel drive really is not that bad. Yes, you can't go like, you know, snowing, like snow drifting and shit, but like if you live in Texas or something like that, this is actually not a bad choice. I think one of the biggest things that I love about the Honda Actis, honestly, is just how huge the windshield is. It's just, 
I hate that about my van. I actually hate, absolutely hate every single thing about the fact that my windshield is so small in my van. But in this guy, not a problem. Neutral, e-brake, nice and quiet, idling at 900, windows, love box. But there you have it, a 1991 Honda Active Street, and then the 1995 Honda Active Street. And this one actually has a lot of fun facts about it that now looking at it, I realize. So right away, the clear amber kind of gives it a weird touch. And then I didn't even realize that you can see the raccoon decal here nice and clean and then this side has nothing and i just think it's pretty cool and then it has a nice little honda step there as the front bar here it has the rear bar here but on the raccoon side again a little different i don't know if josh did that on purpose because i know this is like some times he drives his car like on his personal time but it's pretty neat i actually really like the color of this one because obviously i'm a little biased because my bravo but one last look at this guy five speed this one is also rear wheel drive ac tinted lot out and then we got the 91 rear wheel drive again five speed interior is pretty clean and then let's end it on the k truck that i didn't drive but i mean you guys can look up a zillion videos on these guys but this one is four wheel drive real time four wheel drive i didn't see this on my last video but this one definitely is four wheel drive i believe he has floor mats too i think he's cleaning them or something but i'll get you floor mats worst comes to worst i ordered them from all things jdm if someone chooses this car do not worry about floor mats but here's the k truck has the battery cover which is nice glove box nice and clean this one doesn't have ac but it's not that big of a deal windows are huge but there you have it there is the fleet we got the suzuki wagon r we got the suzuki jimny we got the honda acti then we got the other honda acti and then i guess just to show some more hondas i'm not really sure if these are going to be part of the giveaway or not but we got this guy waiting on a new jersey title with the double sunroof and who doesn't love to do this when they're driving their acti like come on come on let's close that and this one also has ac which is pretty neat interior is not that bad either but thank you guys for watching peace out